welcome back to Hermitcraft. <laughs> All right. Well, first thing I have to say is sorry I've been kind of uh, not there on videos for the last couple of days. I have had uh, a lot of fun with uh, a bunch of swelling in my jaw, which has caused immense amounts of pain. It really doesn't make sense given the amount of swelling. There's actually very little. And uh, that pain, of course, travels up the side of my head and turns into a migraine if I'm not very fortunate. Uh, anyway, revisiting this thing again. Yeah, I know. Again. But uh, I want to give a try to some viewer suggestions. One of which is to use a stone pressure plate. I'm going to give it a try. So, we'll break that one, put down the stone, collect the old one and the eggs. And you see, the thing is here, something is giving a signal out of that. Okay, so these guys standing right next to it is enough to set it off. And, you know, if they're like right up against it. But they still don't move hardly, if at all. And it was, somebody said something in the comments about them not moving much. And uh, maybe it's probably an idea. Uh, the stone one will solve the issue with eggs landing on it. And, uh, yeah. So, I think I want to try, uh, oh no, get out of here, you. Yeah, I don't want one of those running loose. I want to try building a circuit that somebody sent to me on Twitter and uh, try that out. I've got, uh, oh yeah, I need to find some cactus. Well, I can go ahead and get the rest of this going. Let's see, hang on here. Oh yeah. Eh, whatever. Yeah, this will work. Uh, all right, I could do this right here. It's only a few blocks long. Okay, uh, I'm just going to build a block up for right now. Okay, I need a block of sand. Let's see. We have a lever on this end. And then... A repeater, another repeater, and I need a sticky piston here, and then against the sticky piston I need an observer. Getting it facing the right direction might be a little bit of a trick. Yeah, this looks right. Okay. And now here, sand. And over here is the signal coming out of it. Now, what this is supposed to do, yeah, have that turned on to feed a signal into here, is uh, it, you have cactus growing on here, and the observer notices the cactus growing every time it tries to, which toggles this thing, flipping it over. And uh, what his comment, and I'm sorry I don't remember the name, I'm terrible with names. I don't mean that personal to anyone. I'm just terrible with names. Uh, basically, this is a 50% duty cycle. 
which is kind of what I'm looking for. It also doesn't cluck like crazy with like those guys do, because that's about all they do seem to do. And uh, the only potential downside is like something like a 15 minute cycle or something like that, because it has to rely on the growth of the cactus. So let me go ahead and look for some cactus here. I know I've got some around here somewhere. Um, meanwhile, back at the ranch, uh, over the last really long time, a lot of people have said something to me about the idea of doing an FAQ or, you know, ask me anything or question, me, question and answer thing, the Q&A thing. And uh, I, I've always actually had kind of an answer for that. And uh, so a couple of weeks ago, I started uh, collecting questions. The idea being to collect a large quantity of questions uh, from wherever, and then for those questions to be used in uh, to be answered in uh, upcoming episodes of TFC's Journey to the Farlands, a, a uh, series, a kind of a retro Minecraft series, I suppose you could call it, because it uh, does take place in Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. And it happens in that old version of Minecraft because that's the last version of mine that the Farlands actually exist in. Yes, I know about mods that do that for modern versions. I don't care. Um, anyway. The... Uh, the first episode of Journey to the Far Lands that is addressing the recent batch of questions is uh, up now on my gaming channel. And uh, I'll have a link to that in the description, so be sure to check that out. And uh, also... I know me and schedules don't get along at all, but I'm going to try something that, if not, it's not really a schedule. It's more of a uh, a thing where I try to do things and do series things in a certain order. And so, what the order is going to be? Yeah, that'll that'll take care of that. Which is, it's all dependent on how long it takes the cactus to grow. Because it's going to toggle every time the cactus grows. And of course that means there's going to be cactus laying on the floor. I don't care. It'll despawn. And, uh... Alright, so... How about... Well, first of all off... Plug that. Slay these noisy chickens, because I'm tired of listening to them. There, and I'll just leave the rest of this. There is reason why... Uh, there's a very good reason why the... Uh, I, the only chicken farm I have has only a single chicken in it, and I keep it in a place where... I'm never close enough to have to listen to him. <laughs> yeah. So, the proposed series order. And it's an episode of each one in order. And it's just going to be like Hermitcraft, and then an episode of Skyrim, and then the next day, an episode of Stationeers. Which is a thing that I've had for... A little over a year and a half or something like that. Uh, and 
have had a lot of fun with it, and I've been wanting to do a series on it. And I was going to wait until after Skyrim finished, but yeah, that's... I'm not there yet, and I decided I didn't want to wait anymore. And, by the way, once Skyrim is finished, for those that have asked, uh, when Skyrim finishes, I will be resuming Fallout 4 in its place. So, yeah. All right, meanwhile, uh, let's see. What, here's some raw material. Here's some polished material. You know, it's almost kind of too bad. The diorite is only available in raw and polished form because I think it would be cool if there were diorite columns and uh, diorite pillars and, you know, that kind of thing. That would be cool. But this is another viewer suggestion that... <laughs> I just have to. <laughs> I have just got to do this. So, all right. The ceiling is already polished diorite. And if we had diorite brick, I would put diorite brick on the floor here. I think some of you already see where I'm going with this. Oh, come on. You get away from me. I hate those things. Oh, boy. I am right on the edge here, so... Um, I'm going to put some polish out there just so that I will know not to... Uh, oh, yeah. I wanted to do something to so that I would know not to tear this stuff down. Yeah, that'll do. And get me the unpolished. Oh. Arg. Yeah, unpolished on the walls. Yeah. Somebody suggested the idea of one of these apartments. At least one of them. Being made with... All diorite walls. For a special guest. And... Uh, I've thought about it, and the more I thought about it, the funnier it got, so. <laughs> okay, I gotta go get some more diorite. This is ridiculous. Yeah. I should have a few stacks of it in here. Oh, well, yeah, I do. I always drop off whatever I don't use, but yeah. So one apartment here on the experimental level, whose walls are made of diorite. Oh <laughs> uh, yes. And I really do wish we had diorite brick. Polished diorite brick. Oh man, I pushed this one right to the edge when I built it, didn't I? Okay, now let's get the rest of this. A special apartment for a special guest. Uh, yes, of course. Nothing but the best for the residents of Vault 6. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, for crying out loud. That was supposed to be raw. Yeah. And actually I need to go out because the lever needs to be replaced. Oh, come on. And the stone has to be replaced there. Yeah. Okay, so here we've got an extra special apartment. Uh, and you know, really, on the bright side, it is a very bright light and uh, kind of a nice bright well lit fancy kind of place and I need to clear a little bit of space out of here and I want to go upstairs and get some stuff and start the very beginnings of throwing down some furniture in here. So I have to go up here to this level to get that stuff. Because if, if I'm going to go ahead and make some bright, fancy place for uh, somebody who can, uh, shall we say, really appreciate diorite, <laughs> then, uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, take it to the next level here and make sure we have a few other things. Let's see. That's an item frame. I don't need that. Um, ah, paintings. Okay. I could have sworn I had bookcases. Or did I use them all? I must have used them all, so I'll have to come back and do some more book, get some more bookcases made up. Uh, that was one of the reasons I uh, made it a point to acquire cows not too long ago, is uh, the need for leather to occasionally uh, make up some bookcases and such. But let's see. Um... All right, I'm going to start with uh, getting out here to this thing. There we go. All right, some of these. And uh, one of those. No, I don't want the gate. All right, show me the searchables. Okay. There we go. All right. So, let's throw down a little something here that might be table like. And the theme here is to make this place bright and uh, uplifting and, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, I, I figure that it's only right the furniture kind of match that. All right, and pop that here. Temporary blocks there, there, and there. Get out the paintings. 
Yeah. All right, maybe not that one. Okay, that'll work. No. That looks close, but it looks wrong. I have to go look up on the other residential levels. I put what was supposed to be computer terminals, something like that. And I don't remember how I did them, so I have to go look. There should be several of them. Yeah, inverted stair, regular stair for sitting on it. Okay, that's what I did wrong. Basically the whole thing except the picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, and yes, uh, you're right. I do sound kind of really seriously gravelly. But uh, that's because I have spent most of the last... 12 hours or so coughing and it has ripped the heck out of my throat and I mean seriously major okay I need to get a bookcase or two in here they don't make those in birch do they all right and I'm gonna probably hate this but uh no I don't even know what that is, but at least it's not super horrible, at least. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Now, the floor. Yeah, you're right. The floor has to change, too. Now, if I had diorite bricks, hint, 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 Mojang. Oh, okay, let's be reasonable. Mojang does not watch my videos. <laughs> that would be unrealistic as all get out. But if I had diorite, polished diorite bricks, I would use them. I really would. Because they'd be perfect for this. But in the spirit of having everything nice and bright and inviting and you know all, all of that uh, good crap then uh, we can't just have stone brick on the floor we've got to have at least polished diorite to match the ceiling and uh, yeah like I said if the other varieties of diorite existed then uh, I would uh, most certainly use them. <coughs> mm, excuse me. That was nasty. Okay. I can't exactly call this a penthouse because it's not the uppermost floor. And, uh... All right, just put a sign up here. This girl sticks. <laughs> I'm sure he will appreciate the daylight out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Without any thought of a doubt. Now, the only question I have now is, do you think I should run some special lighting down there for him? You tell me. <laughs> In the meanwhile, my throat is about to completely close up, so I have no choice. I have to shut up. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.